Hi, PCO Kids. Welcome back to our Children Worship Online video. I'm so excited this morning that we can once again come back to the presence of God, worship the Lord together, sing praises in actions to Him, and also listen to the stories and learn about the Word of God. And of course, later on, we will learn about some crafts that we can do together at home. And now, let's welcome Teacher Sharon to, for a time of worship. Uh, let's prepare our hearts, get ready, everything that we had, give our best to God in the actions that we do, in the praise songs that we sing, in the worship time that we are doing. Enjoy yourself. Worship the Lord together. Hello kids! It's good to see you after so many days. I hope you enjoyed your summer vacation. God has been so faithful to us in the past days, right? In Psalms 136 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord for He is good and His love endures forever. Let's worship Jesus by giving thanks to Him. Everyone give thanks Everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, and praise the Lord on high. Everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, and praise the Lord on high. Praise Him from the highest mountain, from the deepest valley, praise His holy name. Everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, and praise the Lord on high. Everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, and praise the Lord on high. Tell all the people what Christ has done. Tell all his marvelous deeds Shout to the Lord for the victory won When he died on the cross and set us free Everyone give thanks Everyone give thanks Everyone give thanks And praise the Lord on high Everyone give thanks Everyone give thanks, everyone give thanks, and praise the Lord on high. Jesus living in me can change the world I am a city on a hill I am a light in the darkness Jesus living in me can change the world Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine if God is for me, who can stand against me? Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. I am a city on a hill. I am a light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness, Jesus living in me can change the world. Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. If God is 
for me Who can stand against me? Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine We are the city on a hill We are the light in the darkness Jesus living in us can change the world We are the city on the hill we are the light in the darkness Jesus living in us can change the world Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine Let your light shine, let your light shine, let, your light shine, let it shine If God is for us, who can stand against us? Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine If God is for us, who can stand against us? Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine I will shine for you Burning bright with your light That I seek, you are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus. Dear loving Heavenly Father, you are worthy. Lord, we praise you. You are our King and you are our Lord. Father, thank you so much for your faithfulness. Lord, thank you so much for your protection and your guidance in our lives. Father, we surrender ourselves into your hand. Father, you lead us and you guide us. In the wonderful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Teacher Sharon, for such a wonderful time of worship and also praising the Lord together. Isn't it wonderful that we can use our voice to worship the Lord, use our hands to do actions to praise Him. Indeed, God deserves all our praise and worship. And today, our lesson has to do with worship. The title of our lesson today is Worship Only God, taken from Deuteronomy chapter 1. 
chapter 3 verse 23 to chapter 4 verse 40. The main point that we're learning today is the Lord alone is God. There is no other besides Him and the key passages. The memory verse we are having is Leviticus chapter 11 verse 45. I am the Lord who brought you up out of Egypt to be your God. Therefore be holy because I am holy. Are you ready? If you are ready, let's watch the lesson video together now. Moses and the Israelites had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Some of the older people remembered every year. They had been children when Moses led the people out of Egypt. Some of the people had been born in the wilderness. They heard stories about all the things God had done to help his people. But they hadn't been born yet when those things happened. Now the Israelites were at the edge of the land God had promised to give to his people. The promised land would be their new home. But before they entered the land, Moses, who was now very old, gave the people a message from God. First, Moses reminded the people of why they were in the wilderness. Many years ago, God told us to enter the promised land, Moses said. This is the land God promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to us, their future families. Twelve spies went into the land and they saw that the land was good, but the people refused to go in. They were afraid of the people who lived there. They did not trust God. Moses said, God said that everyone who chose to disobey him would not enter the promised land, not even me. Only their children and Joshua and Caleb, who had trusted God completely, would go in. So we wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Babies were born, young children grew into adults, and the people who had chosen to disobey God died. Now it is time for God's people to enter the promised land. Moses explained, I begged God to let me go into the promised land, but he said no. God told me that Joshua would lead you into the promised land. Moses reminded the Israelites of God's commands. Follow these commands, Moses said. Don't forget what the Lord has done. Teach these things to your children and grandchildren. Then Moses warned them, Be careful. Do not make an idol for yourselves. Do not worship things you have created. And do not worship things God has created. Worship only God. If you do not do what is right, God will scatter you to other lands. But he will not leave you. If you look for God, you will find him. He will not destroy you. He will not forget his covenant. Your God is a compassionate God. Moses said, Know this, the Lord alone is God. There is no other besides him. Moses said it again, The Lord is God in heaven above and on earth below. The Lord alone is God. There is no other besides him. Obey his command so that you may live long in the land the Lord is giving you. Moses commanded the people to obey God so that they would live. He told them to worship only God, the one true God. We receive eternal life from God by trusting in Jesus, and we obey him because only he is God. From the lesson video, we clearly see how God desires to bless the people of Israel. God not just saved them and bring them out of Egypt, but also gave them a set of ten a, a set of commandments, ten commandments for them to follow, to obey, so that they can live life that is blessed and joyful. That's where Moses called all of them and tell them this: you must obey the Lord in order to live. Worship the one true God so that your life will be blessed. One and only true God to worship. And for us Christians today, we receive the salvation through Jesus Christ.
God gave Jesus to us so that we can enjoy and be blessed by God. And we can worship this one true God just like the people of Israel. But how do we actually worship the one true God? What does worship here actually means? Worship here do not limit just to praising God and singing song for Him. In this worship, the word that Moses mentioned, worship the one true God, it means that we're actually giving all our hearts to God. Doesn't mean we give all of us to God, not just part of it, not just part of you, but wholeheartedly. We love God and we worship Him. That is what it means. So, but how do we do that in reality? In reality, we can worship the one true God with three methods. The first one is to know God. In order to worship the one true God, you need to know who is this one true God. But how do we know God? That's right. We can know God by read the word of God. Once you read and know God, then the next thing you need to do is to love God. How do we love God? If you know Him, you know what He likes and you know what He don't like. So you learn to obey His word, to do what He like and do not do what He don't like. Besides, obey His word, you can praise Him. Because when you see something really beautiful and really amazing, you will say, wow, that's the expression of awesomeness, the, the wonders. So if you love God, if you love someone, you will say, wow, God, you're so wonderful. You're so good. Because from the way we read about him, we know about him, we know God is always good to each one of us. So we love God by praising, giving him thanks, and of course, to obey the word that he has given to us. And lastly, we worship the one true God by, anyone can guess? Yes, we serve God. How do we actually serve God? We can't actually even um, grab him. We can't even see him with our physical. How do we do that? You may say, mm, actually, God has given us people around us. We can serve God by serving the people around us. We can serve God in the church, at home, or in schools. We can help other people when people are in need. We can reach out our hands. We can be kind to them. We can pray for them. We all this, we are demonstrate the love of God in us and through us so that other people can experience the love of God through us. So to worship the one true God, three ways. Know Him, love Him, and serve Him. And you and me can do that this week by reading the Word of God, pray, praise, worship, and giving thanks and obey His Word. And lastly, when we are at home, we help our parents with washing dishes, wiping the tables, be obedient to them, um, be kind to our uh, brothers and sisters at home, help them if they need some homework uh, assignments when they don't understand, we explain nicely, patiently to them, and also share our toys with them. And when we have nice food to eat, we share as well with our siblings. That's the way we can love God. At home and when you had the opportunity to go back to schools you meet your friends if your friends are sad you can be there to comfort your friends and demonstrate God's love by saying I can pray for you and you can share the goodness of God that has done in your life to your friends and get them excited that there is a God who love and care for them so love uh, know God love God and serve God that's the way we worship the one true God before we go, before I pray for you, let's go through the memory verse together again. Are you ready? If you are ready, let's look at Leviticus chapter 11, verse 45. One, two, three. I am the Lord who brought you up out of Egypt to be your God. Therefore, be holy because I am holy. It is so true. God is holy and we need to be holy. And the only way to do that is to worship the one through God by know Him, love Him, and serve Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's lessons that is so important for each one of us. That is to worship the one true God. You are our one true God and we want to love you. We want to know you and we want to serve you. Help us. Your Holy Spirit will guide us 
give us the boldness to be helpful to other people who are in need. Lord, we love you and we want to praise you. We want to give thanks to you with all our hearts. And we want to know you more through the reading of your word and also memorizing of the word. Lord, we love you all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now is craft time. Today, we are, we are very happy to have uh, teacher Mariam. Uh, she has prepared craft uh, to do to mix some musical instruments that you can use the recycle uh, items that you find at home to do it. Uh, the reason we do that is we know that one of the way to worship the one true God, to show our love to Him, is by worship and praise Him. So hopefully by doing these musical instruments as you play it at home, um, when you worship the Lord, it reminds you once, once again, our God is the one true God who really loves us. So enjoy your craft time together. For today's craft activity, we are making two musical instruments. One, a drum. And another one, a maracas, which you can shake and shake and make some. The links for these craft activities are given in the description box below. First, let us start with the drum. First, we will make the drum. To make the drum, you need a tin, tape, scissors, skewers, balloon and craft paper. First take the tin and remove the lid. Next take the balloon and cut the balloon from the neck. Then you need to open the balloon and stretch it all over this and cover it all over this way then take the craft paper and wrap it around the tin and tuck it and secure it with cello tape after you cover it, you can decorate your drum in any way. Next, take two skewers and you can attach a cord or a play-doh or eraser at the pointed end of the skewers to make the drumsticks in this way. Now your drum and drumsticks are ready. To make the maracas, we need a bottle scissors, tape and something to fill the bottle to make the maracas either popcorn or macaroni or some metal clips something which will make a sound. First we will take the bottle and cut it where it is marked in black. Once it is cut take only two pieces the top and the bottom part. In the bottom part, we will add first little popcorn seeds. Popcorn seeds. You can add anything, any grain or metal pieces which you have. And we putting some clips, metal clips. After you put inside, fix the top part of the bottle on top. Secure it 
with the cello tape. After you secure it with the cello tape around, then you can decorate your maracas either with some beads, stickers or you can stick anything on it to cover it like how I have done. Hope you will all try both these musical instruments. See you all next time. I hope this week you have a wonderful worship on my videos where you learn to worship the Lord, where you learn the lessons, you learn the craft. And this week as you memorize the memory verse, as well as doing the craft, be reminded to worship the one true God by knowing Him, loving Him, Bye, have a great week ahead of you. God bless you and see you again next week for our worship video.